mean, I kind of see it's like two separate things that have become connected so that there's, we're speaking about women who've been sexually harassed and finding their voice and having the strength to say, oh, well, me too. And then mm. because one person did, another woman can go, yeah, me too. And I think of it as like all these women joining hands saying, mm. me too. And in, in numbers, we get strength. And that's so moving and, and, and upsetting that such a thing is happening. But then there's another thing, which is what our jobs are, which is fiction, like telling stories. We're just storytellers. And having stories where women are... Like, I have a real problem with the idea of the, the strong woman characters. I always mm. think of, like, what well, does that mean? We have muscles or something? Like, no one ever <laughs> says that to a man. I, I think it was, like, women have central roles that are complex and drive the narrative rather than... I don't know, no, I just... Yeah, I mean, yeah they're no generic, say to a man, but... you play a, if you played a strong man, right. I mean, unless they're playing a, unless they're sh sh a bodybuilder or something, I don't know. Right. But, um, <laughs> but that young girls growing up can see stories being told where a woman takes the central role, mm. where she's not peripheral to the story, she's driving the story. And so mm. you, you as a kid can go, oh, that's me. You know, you, I can identify. So it's, it's like a funny thing that they're coming together at the same time because women have been uh, speaking up about harassment. I don't yeah. know if it's a coincidence that suddenly mm. there are more, like you could get your film in, you could get your film in, and the favorite apparently took 20 years to make because there's lesbianism and three females at the center of it. I don't know. I, I can't tell what I happened think people first. would want to see that. <laughs> you, me too. <laughs> When you play a character, this was advice given to me, that if someone says to, to you, well, your character wouldn't do that, it's just like, that's just not true. Mm -hmm. whatever, whatever it is that yes. happens in, in the take, even when it goes wrong and you want to say cut and you don't, yeah. that is what's that is your character. There isn't a character that you have to reach for. It's just whatever happens, that's the character. Yeah. And so, yeah, I think when I started out, I was thinking, well, my character would do this, but not this. And this, and that's just, that leads you down a, a, a very fruitless a, path. A frozen... Thank you for helping me remember oh, you're some so advice welcome. that I've taken. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Are there any specific choices you made in the favorite that apply there? Because your character is very devious and has, you know, <laughs> has a lot of nuance to it. I'm wondering what you brought to that that wasn't on the page. I think everything was on the page. Um, the writing was just so rich and complicated. Mm. And for all characters, not just my character, the th all three uh, female roles, um, but yeah, on the page I saw in the foreground strength and power and bossiness and sadism and aggressiveness. Mm. And, then, and then all around that I saw vulnerability and neediness, a need for love, um, a reliance on mm. a best friend and a lover. She's, she, just everything was on the page really for me. And then it just sparks with your imagination. Um, and when you say the lines, the lines plus your imagination take you somewhere. So I don't ever think of it as a, it's not like a conscious choice made in advance of the moment between action and cut. Yeah. I dive in yeah. and then I hear cut. I never say it myself. Yeah. <laughs> I totally agree. No, I totally, I have done that, but it's, you're so right. It's so important not to. And when I hear cut, it's, it's gone. There was an I, I have that go. too sometimes. It's just, just for that film. It changes every, yes. yeah. But yeah. doesn't it make you feel, it made it at least, I, I felt so much, so less precious since having kids. Like, it just all feels like now it's a faster, deeper dive, if that makes sense, mm, I think, does. to get you just, because yeah. it's just you have to. Yeah. My son used to, when I, when I did a play, the last two plays I don't know if I'm, he's in the other room and I'm learning lines and I'm saying them out loud, he'll just shout from the other room, true. Wow. False. <gasps> False. Because wow. he knows better than, than wow. I guess, anyone. Wow. When mom's being a big old Oh my old God, that's faking. amazing. <laughs> I know, yeah. My kids have never seen, they've been able to see like maybe one thing I've done. No, this is rehearsing back home. This no, is not in the no, theater. That's Can you imagine? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh Hi everyone, I'm Nicole Kidman. This is Lady Gaga. I'm Katherine Hahn. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching the Hollywood Reporter Roundtables on YouTube.